Hey everyone, how's it going? Buenty here with my first ever YouTube video, very exciting stuff. Uh, today I am playing in the first round of the Big Brain Draft League, uh, which is a uh, VGC Draft League that I'm in, for those of you who don't know. Uh, and I'm playing against the um, the California? Yeah, the California Colossal, as piloted by Snom. Um, for a bit of context, Snom uh, joined our draft league like two days ago because someone else dropped out. So he's had not had a huge amount of prep time. Um, so we may have to forgive him if he's a little uh, a little rusty. Um, but his uh, his lineup, um, his draft is uh, he's got Colossal, Milotic, uh, G Max Colossal, Milotic, Toracat, Mudsdale. Galarian, Mr. Mime, Morpico, Sork, Grimmsnarl, Durant, Garbodor, and Chinchino. Um, so, right off the bat, his team is, like, very weak to Inteleon. Uh, he's got nothing that outspeeds it. Um, he's not really got any speed control. Um, he's got, what? Three water weaknesses, and Durant gets one shot by it. Um, so... I think Inteleon is going to be kind of the key to, to winning this one. Um, the obstacles to that are probably Milotic, maybe more Pico, um, but we will go over that in a second. Um, so, just start by going over like spreads and stuff. This is just a standard um, Life Orb Inteleon, um, except I've altered the EV spread a little bit um, just to, to play against this team specifically. Um, so, the 220 speed um, lets me outspeed Chinchino, which is the fastest thing on his team. Uh, no point in investing any more than that. Um, the 28 HP is a good life orb number. It gives me uh, 149 HP stat. Um, so I get the minimum kind of percentage loss of HP from life orb. And then that with the 44 defense allows me to take a max lightning um, from Durant if Inteleon is um, G maxed with enough health left over to survive two ticks of life orb. Which means that even if he hits me with a uh, big attack from Durant, I should be able to, in theory, get three G-Max moves off. Um, and then the rest is just dubbed in Special Attack. Um, but I mean, that's enough to OCO Dynamax Durant, unless he's got Special Offense Investment, which would be quite an interesting tech. Um, then Togekiss, I built as kind of a bulky weakness policy set. Um, again, with Durant in mind, um, it's spec to take... Uh, less than like full damage from an iron head if Durant doesn't have hustle which sounds stupid but I will get onto that later um, and then rest is dubbed in no uh, well there's, the speed is enough to outspeed um, Chinchino when at plus one so after like an airstream boost I'm faster than everything on his team um, uh, yeah no the rest is dubbed into special attack um, but I mean if I get my policy boost off that's enough to like one or two Hekyo pretty much his entire team I don't think there's anything apart from Colossal that doesn't get one or two hit go by this. Um, extra drill, kind of standard, just a, a focus dash set. Um, not really Mold Breaker because there's not really any point. Um, he doesn't have any Pokemon with like Levitate or anything. Um, or any abilities that I need to ignore, so I figure I might as well go for Sand Rush. Um, not that it really makes a scrap of difference because I don't actually have Rock Slide and running Swords Dance. Um, again, that's just a very standard set. He's got a lot of ground weaknesses. Uh, I'm running Sword Sense over Rock Slide just because I can't really see. Um, there aren't really any Pokemon on his team that I'd want to hit with Rock Slide over anything else. Like, yeah, nothing nothing on his team takes more damage from a Rock Slide than it would from one of his stab moves. Um, so it's just kind of not really any point. Uh, I could have used it for a speed boost, I guess, with Sand Rush if I Dynamaxed it, but I think that's a bit too niche to, to warrant it. Um, and then we've got uh, Gudra who doesn't actually have any dragon moves, which is a weird one, but the coverage I get on this does let me hit everything apart from, uh, I think, apart from more Pico and Sork for super effective damage. Um, so, uh, yeah, the exp expert belt means that Flamethrower is guaranteed to Oko, Dynamax, Durant, even if they get a, um, even if they get a special defense boost, like, boost with, like a Max Quake or something. Um, so, speed EVs, that's just a speed creep Milotic, um, basically. Um, enough defensive EVs for the HP and the defense to um, to live a max steel spike from Durant when it doesn't have hustle. Again, I will go over that. Um, 
And yeah, so Sludge from Hide from T-Bot Flamethrower is just type coverage basically. Um, I don't think I need a dragon move because there's not really anything that I'd want to hit with a dragon move apart from like Sork and maybe more Pico. But I'm not particularly scared of either of those and frankly I'm not sure he brings either of those. Because Sork is scared of like my entire team and more Pico is like more Pico does not like tangling with like Excadrill for example. Or Gudra for that matter. Um, and then we've got Chandler. Just a pretty standard scarf set. Um, again, enough speed here to um, outspeed more Pico with the choice scarf. Uh, stuck it all in in special attack, uh, and then just dump the rest in HP. Um, so the moves right here, I've gone double fire, which seems a bit odd, but there are a couple of reasons for that. First of all, I want 100% accurate fire move. Like if I have Chandler and it gets Durant and it's Dynamax, I don't want to risk missing a heat wave. And also, Heatwave could leave me potentially vulnerable to like a Colossal Switch, and I could accidentally give him its Steam Engine um, with Heatwave, because um, obviously it's a spread move, whereas Flamethrower gives me a little control around that. And Flamethrower just does a bit more damage to an individual target, but it's nice to have Heatwave anyway, uh, if I need to use Chandler for like a late game sweep. Uh, and then Shadow Ball is just another stab move, and Energy Ball is to hit Minor Touch, um, and the other ground types on the team like Mudsdale. Now, the real interesting set here uh, is Weezing. Weezing has neutralizing gas, which stops all abilities. Now, my team is not particularly reliant on ability, like Inteleon has Sniper, but that's not very useful. Tokius doesn't really need Super Luck if it's not a crit kiss set. Extra Sand Rush is kind of a bit useless. Um, Gudra, I've given it Gooey, um, just because like there's no reason to use Saps every single time you grass moves. Um, and I'm not saying up rain, so I don't really need hydration. Chandler's got Infiltrator because he's got screen setters, uh, but again, that's not immensely necessary because ideally he wouldn't be able to set screens. Um, so I don't really care about any of my abilities being um, removed, but if we look at um, Snom's team here, GMAX Colossal without Steve Engine, kind of trash. Admittedly, Milotic uh, doesn't really make much of a difference too, because I'm not really dropping stats here, but Toracat doesn't get Intimidate. Um, Mudsdale doesn't get like own tempo, so if he goes for some like Grimmsnarl Mudsdale shenanigans, um, he can't stop himself getting confused. Um, Clarin Mr. Mime has, I don't know, screen cleaner, I'm not saying I'm screens though. Uh, it doesn't affect more Pico, Sork loses Sturdy, which is bad, but the big ones here, Grimmsnarl loses Prankster, and Durant loses Hustle. Um, what that means is that effectively Grimmsnarl becomes just a very bad support Pokemon. Um, and I've put enough speed EVs into my um, Weezing that I'm pretty sure like I'm going to creep his Grimmsnarl. Um, and that'll just let me taunt it before it does anything. Um, and then Durant without Hustle is effectively just an Intimidate on Durant, uh, especially if it's Dynamaxing, because it, it, it cuts its attack by a huge amount, which is why I was saying earlier um, about all the calcs um, with Durant um, without Hustle. Um, the kind of the, the premise there being that Weezing might be alongside them. Uh, and then Chinchino without Skill Link is just terrible. <laughs> um, so yeah, a lot of his Pokemon rely on abilities to be good. Uh, and so I think stripping them of that is really useful, uh, particularly since I think, kind of, I think he's going to lead to try and stop, um, to try and stop Inteleon. And I think the only way he can he can do that really is either <clears throat> bringing Grimmsnarl and T-waving slash scary facing it before he gets an attack off, and then hitting it with Duran, or trying to bring in Milo and then like protecting Duran turn one or max guarding, go for like an icy wind or something. Um, uh, Weezing completely stops the Grimmsnarl um, if he tries to do that, which is kind of what I built it around, because I have a feeling he's going to bring Grimmsnarl to try and slow down my Inteleon, because otherwise it's just going to run through his team. Um, EVs on uh, on Weezing. Honestly, I, th this one wasn't that calculated. Um, like I said, the speed's drought to, to creep Grimmsnarl, because um, I don't think he's going to run that much speed. Um, and then... I just went max HP, um, stuck much in special defense. Uh, the defense does something. Oh, I live a, I live a Durant max quake without um, without hustle, is what it was. Um, and the move set here, Sludge Punch just a stab, lets me hit Grimmsnarl. Uh, Will O Wisp to burn, he's got a lot of physical attackers, um, so that's useful. Taunt is to stop Grimmsnarl, like I said. And Toxic is a bit of a niche move, that's there pretty much exclusively for Milotic. Um, because I am very scared of, of Milo in this situation, and I've not got that many ways to hit through it. And so with Toxic, what I can do is I can just hit it with a Toxic and then leave it there. And just kind of wait for it to die by itself. 
Um, it also is kind of helpful against like Torracat or something, um, who I can't burn. Um, or maybe just for some chip damage on Grimmsnarl, but yeah, it's 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 almost entirely for for Milotic. Um, so that is a rundown of the team. Um, the thing about it, I, th I think is most likely, like I said, is is something like a um, kind of Grimmsnarl Durant or like Milotic Durant. I think is the lead I'm most scared of because um, my plan is to go Weezing Inteleon. Um, and if if he does lead Milotic and uh, Durant, then I like, could be in a situation where I'm having to like guess whether he has Protect on Durant, does he like Icy Wind with Milotic? Uh, but even in that situation, even if he goes for like Max Guard and, and um, Protects Milo, uh, sorry, Max Guard and Icy Wind with Milo, I can still get a Toxic off of Milotic. I can live a hit with Inteleon um, from the Durant, and then I can just kind of go nuts, um, I think. And like he doesn't have switch-ins to... Uh, to like, particularly if he brings Milo in the front, he's got nothing that can switch into a, a, a G-Max move from Inteleon. Um, yeah, so that's that's about it for the um, for the team breakdown. Uh, now it's just a case of contacting Snom, because um, we did arrange to play about 10 minutes ago and I'm running a bit late, but... Uh, it's like... Right. <clears throat> I'm just telling him I'm good to go now. Um, right, let's switch over. Okay, so I should have my game catcher up now. Good. Let's do this. And get my audio switched. Cool. Right, um. Uh, encode when ready. Cool. Um. Yeah. Oh, I really need a laptop. Oh, I'm not going to be able to upload this, am I? That's so irritating. God, I need a laptop. <laughs> uh, well. Not survive. Okay. Um. I meant to give some PP ups to my uh, good rookies. I've only got five, uh, five uh, PP in. Um, it's only got five PP in Hydro Pump, which I should probably fix as well. And I need to remove them from my uh, team. But let's just do this to so keep this place. So I'm not further this way. No, oh, never mind. Never mind. Um, okay, let's just grab him. Just take him here. Uh, I should have a bunch of PP up. Uh, I'll just do this faster. I've got 158 of them. Um, bump, 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 bump. I have to do them individually, that's annoying. Yeah. Cool. Now I'm just sticking back in to my team. We're done. Let me just, let me just double check these G Max. I don't want them to not be G Max. Oops, because uh, that's how I get banned. Um, uh, yes, G Max. Okay, good. Um, right. Okay, so Norm's giving me a code. Oh, let's enter it. Potent trainer has been found. Good stuff. All right, so good luck, have fun. Um, Oops. 
Discord also directed have fun to he. Um, Mason quit deciding rules, very sad. Um, uh, I'll decide myself. Uh, we'll play rank 5 battles, and series 5 rank battles even. Cool. Ah, uh, There you go. Right, wish me luck, boys. <laughs> Again. So, who's he got? Oh, interesting. No Grimmsnarl. Oh, no Grimmsnarl is super good for me, I think. Um, so he's got Chinchino. He's got Milo. Milo's a pain in the ass. Um, Chino, Milotic. Um, Durant. I'm very surprised that there's no Grimmsnarl here. Because now it's just, he just doesn't have speed control. Uh, we've got Cole. He could have, like, Scarf Surf Milo, I guess. Could be a weird thing he could run, just to proc. Um, proc your boy. Um, Cole. What was I going to say? Uh, Cole, Toracat, and... Mudstell. Yeah, but, like, if you look at the, the bottom three here... In fact, if you look at the bottom four, all of them get OCO'd by GMAX and Talion. So I think, given that he hasn't got Grimmsnarl, what I might do is I might go for the Intellion Tokus lead. Uh, it gives me the side proc policy option. Um, gives me good redirection support if I need it. Uh, I'm gonna bring Weezing in the back, uh, just in case he brings like if he leads Milotic Colossal, I want to be able to switch Weezing in to, to deal with that. Um, and then who do I want to my last? Probably Gudra, I'd say. Yeah, Extra doesn't actually look very good here. Um, Gudra's probably my best bet. Just the way of tanking hits from Milo, yeah. I think I like Gudra. Um, yeah, Chandler doesn't look that good here, actually. Annoyingly. Okay, if I get this lead right, then I think I could just win, like, instantly. Um, which would be quite funny. Or at least it would be quite funny from my perspective. Um, Durant Toracat. Oh, you've beefed it, my guy. Is there any reason to not G-Max Inteleon and smack the Durant there? Because I feel like there isn't. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Hydro Snipe the uh, Durant. And then... I guess just Air Slash the Toracat. Free damage and a flinch, essentially. No switches from him. So what's he up to if he's not switching? Him not switching seems sus to me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, He does Dynamo, so this could be like a max card parting shot, which would be irritating. Um, unless I flinch him, in which case it's not irritating. So. He's brought Durant, he's brought Tarot Cat. Um, does he have max gold on this thing? He probably does. No, he just fakes out, okay. Well then, unless he's got like an assault vest on this, I think Durant just dies. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> well, we learned zero information. But we do just immediately remove his uh, his Durant. And now he doesn't have Dynamax. I'm gonna be honest, this game just kind of low-key feels over at this point. It's, it's very early to be saying that, but it does kind of feel a little bit over. It is Milo, okay. Um... But again, with Milo here, there's nothing that can switch on a Hydro Snipe, so I just take another KO here. Um, uh, do I just start going for damage? <laughs> I can't just switch in Weezing here. Because um, if he goes to like a Coil or something, then I can taunt him next turn to stop and go for Hypnosis. Um, 
So let's do this. Okay, well. Wait, hold on. No, you could you could be staying in this. That's right, you could still be switching to our cat. I actually really like Shiny Weezy. It's kind of a weird one, but I'm I'm a fan. Uh, Hydra Snipe, so goodbye Toracat, unless it's Sash. Oh, wait, it's Sash. It's like, yeah, okay, that's dead. Okay, so not a great start for Snob, if we're being honest. Um, he just rips raw hypnosis. That's kind of what I was scared of. Um, that's super irritating. Um, mm, I think she should be fine. And it's cold as it's last, okay. Um, do you reckon he has Surf? Uh, I just snipe him. And I'm going to Toxic the uh, Milo. So we know Milotic has Hypnosis. Uh, hypnosis. It's a great animation, until I'm just kind of snoozing atop his perch. Uh, he's muddy water. Okay, so he's... Crit's wheezing, that's irritating, but whatever. Accuracy drop on Inteleon's bad. I get my Toxie off though, which is nice. Um, so he's muddy water on Milo, which means he's just got nothing to, to side proc Cole. And now he's badly poisoned. Um, this dude is charging up, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> this boy is. Is he. Please tell me he's White Herb Meteor Beam. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he's not policy, though, is what that means. Um. That's White Herb. Yeah, he's got Meteor Beam. I mean, I'm gonna try and toxic the coal as well, in case I don't wake up here. Um. Shot it, but I'm just gonna toxic it as well. Um, oh, he just puts it on a timer, and now it doesn't really have access to Meteor Beam anymore, if we're being honest. Um, here's another Muddy Water, Weezing dodges. Let's go, Weezing. Inteleon lives. Let's go, Inteleon, uh, and another actually dropping Inteleon. That's not good, and I poison his Colossal. Okay. Earth power. Dead Inteleon. That makes sense, but now I can just bring in Gudra um, and Stonewall him. I don't really want to give away my item on. Um... Let's go Weezing. Um... Actually, maybe I do just bring in Kisser. I'm going to bring in Kiss and I'm going to taunt the Milotic so he can't Hypnosis me, because that Hypnosis is very irritating. Um, uh, I mean, I can't really do much to call here with this, can I? Um, I might dodge there, Slash, try and get a flinch, maybe. Um, nah, I'm just going to taunt it. So this could reveal my policy, which is not great. Um, good flinch, let's go. And I taunt him. Perfect. So I've revealed Toxic, I've revealed Taunt. Um, but that is about it. He goes for a Heatwave. Not do that much. Let's go. Um, Milotic. Oh, that's eating away at this Milo. Um, he said, even with plus one, Colossal's doing like zero damage. Colossal sucks. Why do people use it? Um... I mean, Gleam here should just polish off Milo, shouldn't it? With the toxic damage. Or even better, I might protect and sludge bomb. I'm giving away all my tech on Weezing, but like, he's got to assume I have a, a poison type stab move. The water, I don't think this kills Weezing unless he crits me again. What if he reads this protect because we kill Beam? Yeah, okay. Weezing lives. Sludge bomb. Very nice. Yeah, Milo's dead to Toxic. Oh, he's Berry Milotic. 
Interesting. Okay, well that's good info. Um, my name is... Papa Berry. So, Heat Wave Earth Power on Cole. I'm just going to assume that he doesn't really have... Um, I'm going to assume his Protect is his last on uh, on Cole, which would make sense. Um, White Hope Meteor Beam is an interesting tech, but it's kind of a one-use only thing. Um, I guess there's a Gleam here. Don't think there's any point going for Follow Meteor Spamming Spread Moves. Oh, Hydro Pump is, uh, is colossal. Pretty sure the game's over though. Uh, maybe it would have been better to just go for safe damage on Cole there. Ah, actually, there's no way his Cole gets through. His, his, Col his Colossal never gets through Gudra. Um, Chris Colossal, let's go. And is Milo's faster than Gudra? Okay, so Milo has speed investment. <laughs> to zero damage. Oh, my Hydro is going to miss now, isn't it? No! Things are, I mean, this kind of situation is why Toxie is useful. Because it, it, like, he's just on a clock now. Um, and his output against Gudra is frankly pitiful. Yeah, that's a, that's another tick of poison away. Um, so I think I just have to protect protect Kiss here, and I'm safe. Like, what's he doing to Gudra? Um, I mean, I'm just gonna hide around again. I don't want to reveal. I don't want to reveal, reveal any of my moves. Hey, quits. Okay. Right, GG. Game one. Game one is done. Um, yeah, Inteleon just kind of runs through his team. Uh, why not? I'm giving them league cards. Uh, play the same rules. Okay, 1 0 for me. Let's go, me. Um, Okay, so Toxic ended up being really clutch there. Which is kind of handy for a move that I put on like 10 minutes before I started recording. Um, right. <laughs> do I just go save again? Like, Chandler doesn't do anything against the 4 that he brought. Extrill kind of does, but also, like, I think I'm just content with the four that I had. Um, I'm just going to lock in same again, I think. <clears throat> I could change up and lead Weezing. No, but if he changes up his lead so he doesn't have, if he doesn't lead Durant this time, which I don't think he will, because I absolutely smacked the hell out of him. Um, then I can go for my policy proc on, uh, on Tokyo and start going nuts. Because I don't think he's gonna, I don't think he's gonna predict a side eye shard here. Um, <laughs> sorry, said I'm, I'm writing down all the information I get about his team as I go, um, but I, I have one move written down for Torakat, no moves written down for Durant, and then the other two. <laughs> Uh, we've only seen him notice some muddy water on Miles, which is interesting. Um, who's he leading? It's, it's not going to be Durant, surely. Mud Stealth and Chino, okay. See, I still kind of want a G-Max and Teleon. So if I G-Max and Teleon, I can just blast the heck out of Mudsdale. Ah, uh, Mudsdale probably lives if he's AV. Um... What does Chinchina do? Chinchina could bullet seed me. So I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the side block stuff, because it's funny. Um I'm just gonna ask me in the mudstill. Mudstill goes out, who, who comes in? This is Durant. Milo. Oh, early damage on Milo is super good here. Um Max Togi. I reckon he's gonna go for a bullet seed here. Um, it's just my guess. Um, which will probably take out my Inteleon, because my Inteleon is weak. 
but I do get my policy block off, and then I can bring in Weezing and start going nuts. Um, bonk. Alright, let's go kiss. <laughs> Oh, he just goes Rock Blast. Oh, that does nothing. Wow, Chinchino sucks. Chinchino is a garbage Pokemon. Holy crap. <laughs> That's such sad damage. That is a 125 base power Rock type move. Oh my god. Let's go. Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Um, yeah, he pops berry, fine. Um, I'm slightly scared of the blind hit no here. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch Inteleon into Weezing. Let's me save my Inteleon, which is a very useful back end member. Uh, Weezing also just completely stops Chinchino from doing anything. Um, no, I'm just gonna ask me the Mardu again. Because Weezing, Weezing shuts down Skill Lick. Um, which is super useful. Next stream. Bonk. Dead Milo. That's huge. Having Milo out of the way, that's like the one thing that stands in the way of Inteleon, basically. And now Weezing could just stop burning everything. Um. Okay, so do you know we've seen Rock Blast after you? Oh, that's interesting. That's a very interesting tech. Actually, that does make a lot of sense. Because, like, he's not got speed in this team. I like that. I really like that tech. That is a very nice tech, I think. Um, let's delve back in. I'm just going to burn that and blast the heck out of Chinchino. Um, yeah, more or less. He doesn't know I have all of this, but I do have all of this. So, <laughs> sucks to be him. Uh, let's go for another ice stream. Dynamax and Mudsdale, that makes sense. Um, uh, unless he's I don't think he brings Lama against me, though. Because, like, the only thing that can really deal status to him is, is Weezing. I think this has got to be Assault Vest to, to eat hits from Inteleon. I've decided there is a 0% chance that this is Lumberry. From their stream, that's a dead Tenchino, unless it's Sash. Is it Sash? It is Sash, okay. That makes sense. Um, is this going to be like an after you attack? Oh, it could be actually. No, it's just rock blast. It's once. It's twice. How many times does this hit? Only twice. Okay. So that's why neutralizing gas is good there. Uh, and then I burn him. That's a huge burn. Um, steel spike. Fine. That's not going to be very much. This kiss is doing work, my guy. Um, actually, as is wheezing, to be honest. Um, I don't really want to switch wheezing out here. Um, have we seen his last mod? Uh, no, we haven't. I think I just want to keep Inteleon alive for his back. Because he's Dynamaxed um, Mudsdale, Inteleon just destroys his back end. Um, I don't think I really need Weezing that much anymore. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sludge bomb. It's damage, it's something at least. Uh, and then I'm gonna gleam. Let's just kill Chinchino. Um, gleam. Yeah, that's definitely assault vest. Um, Monstell is AV. Uh, sludge bomb. Oh, that is nothing. That's for sure AV. It's a rock fall. Ah, there you go. This this is where Sandrush would come into play. I guess I have to wheeze it. My Tokus is not in range of sand. I kind of see what he's going for, but like my my Kiss just isn't in range of sand. Um, so I'm guessing that's Rock Slide and Iron Head. Nothing to wheezing. Iron Head. Um. Alright. Hmm. That's Torakaz's last, okay. 
So he's got fake out pressure. Um, oh, that's what sand does. Sand. Uh, I'm not in range of another ticket sand though, so I can just. Um, do I switch using out? It's not really doing anything. Is the problem? Eh. Wait out Dynamax here. I'll ta taunt Torak out in case he goes for something weird. Uh, I'm just going to protect my kiss. Let's go for a fake out, okay. Makes sense. Oh, I've just really he's gonna blast me through um He's just gonna hit me through um protect. What am I doing? I'm stupid. Oh no, he goes for a max quick, okay, he leaves my kiss alive. How kind of him. Uh Is that a crit? That has to be a crit. Yeah. Ah Although actually that's fine. I think that I think that's actually better, because now I now I just get a telly on him for free. Um Oh no, my token is intimidated. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I just get a on here. Um, in comes Intellion. Um, so I was on twenty seven HP. 16, so I can take another tick of, um, yeah, I can take another tick of sand. So he's got to target my, oh, he could rock slide, but then that's not doing any damage to Inteleon, so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to do it for damage here. Um, I mean, Gleam and Snipe Shot will, will clear up Torakat for sure. Um, it does have a special defense boost, which is why I went for um, the Gleam and the, and the Snipe Shot, because I want to make sure it just dies. Like, I think it's that's more useful than trying to fish for a flinch on Mudsdale. I still does have stamina, okay. Um, I'm gonna write this down even though it doesn't really do much for me. Um, I'm surprised you brought stamina given it, um, like, m pretty much all of my team is special. Yeah, okay, Tarakat's has gone. Let's go. <laughs> that crit did not matter. But I do have Sniper, so it's nice. Um, yeah, he does go Rock Slide, that makes sense. Um, but that's gonna do nothing to my Teleon. <laughs> oh, Weezing was actually such an MVP here. Weezing did so much work. And then Gudra comes in. I mean, I'm just going to flamethrower here, because, um, like, in theory, me missing eight Hydro Pumps in a row is is a thing that can happen. Um, so I'm just going to go for safe damage. Um, like, he's, he's on a timer. He's burned. He's, uh, he's... Yeah, there's, there's no way he wins this, though. Um, snapshot. Bonk. This kill. Not quite, but flamethrower will polish it off here. Cool. Well, GG, Snom. Um, yeah, I think that a lot of that was just a really bad team matchup. He didn't really have answers to Intellion at all. Um, I've got the handy little tricks as well. Uh, right, let's tell Snom GG's. I just realised that Snom's been sending me messages this entire time. <laughs> Where was the misclick? He said misclicks are fun, but I've no idea where the misclick was. Um, um, right. Let's see, what have we got for post-match analysis? Um, I don't really know what to analyze with that one. I think that was that was just a a, a very bad team matchup. Um, I don't really know what Snom was meant to do against Telly on there. Um, which is kind of unfortunate because, like I said, Snom inherited this team rather than um, drafting it himself because he joined he joined late because someone dropped out. Um, but yeah, no, I, th I think the fact that he didn't bring Grim Snarl is very surprising to me because that that I think was the biggest threat to me going fast. Um, Interesting. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise otherwise he has no way of making himself faster than my Inteleon. Like the only thing he has is after you on Chinchino, uh, and even that isn't faster than Inteleon. Um, so I don't know. It's uh, yeah, I think that was just a bad matchup. But yeah, um, Weezing is a tier four pick. It's in the lowest tier. But dear God, it's such. I don't know why it's down there. Weezing is so good. like 
the ability to shut off abilities like the will o -Wisp, the Toxics, all of that was so, so useful. Um, um, yeah, uh, I don't know what else there is with that one.